In this video, we'll talk about personal time management. Everyone is concerned, and rightfully so, with managing work time, but we all have a personal life. Personal time is a luxury, and the more organized we become, the richer we are. Even when we aren't at work, time is precious. We spend around eight hours sleeping, two to three hours on chores, and if we have a family, we spend several hours caring for others. Where do we fit into this 24-hour picture? Is there any time left that just belongs to us? We need our sleep to remain healthy, so that eight hours is taken. After spending eight hours at the office or at work, we are left with another eight hours, which sounds like a lot, but as we've seen, most of that time is spent on chores and obligations. When is there ever time to relax or work on personal goals? A lot of us may consider time management outside the bounds of personal time. After all, managing our time is work. At the same time, however, we want to get the most out of the time we have for ourselves. That means we need to actively control how we spend those precious hours. When we are struggling with a career, it's easy to let our personal life take second place. But with the right balance, you can have both. More importantly, you need both. Having a worthwhile personal life takes the same type of commitment as a career. Get your job done and make it a habit to leave the office on time whenever possible. Sometimes overtime and weekend work are necessary, but most of the time putting in late and off hour times is a means to be seen and noticed by the boss. What the boss really cares about is the quality of your work. When you manage your workday effectively, you work less and can leave when you have finished. Forget about strutting around the office at 8 o'clock at night in an effort to impress your boss. He or she will be more impressed if the work is done correctly and on time. Make a schedule of your personal time, the way you would schedule your work routine. 1. Determine your priorities. Do you want to jog, take a class, read a book, see a movie? Time doesn't simply arbitrarily happen. You need to make the time for those things that are important to you and add to the quality of your life. 2. Once you have a schedule, think about how to free up that time. Do you need a sitter? Will you have to give up some of your favorite TV shows or social media activities? Sometimes compromise is necessary. 3. Work on your personal schedule before going to sleep, as you would your business schedule. Make a list of personal things you want to accomplish the following day. 4. Running errands is considered one of the greatest personal time thieves. Make it a habit never to run the same errand twice in the same week. When shopping for food, have a list handy that has everything you need for the week. No more forgotten items that require a second trip. Place all of your dry cleaning in one pile to avoid forgetting any important item. 5. Time is money, and sometimes it's worth more than money. Consider hiring someone to run some of the errands, such as a neighborhood teen. Having someone come in once a week to do the heavy chores can free up a weekend and be worth the expense. 6. Don't be afraid to ask for help from family. Provide the kids with a list of chores. Have your spouse pick up items from the store. You have more time for yourself when you forget about the idea that you are responsible for everyone else. 7. Spread out needed chores over a few days. Clean the kitchen on Monday and leave the bathroom for Tuesday. That gives you time to relax, catch a movie, or read a book. Planning ahead can give you the gift of time. How often do you run out of batteries, important cards, wrapping paper, stamps, etc.? These items are difficult to schedule because we don't use them every day. But when we need them, it can absolutely throw us off schedule. Make sure you always have these necessities at hand. Pick them up on your next shopping trip. Store them. And simply reach out for them when needed. 9. Make the most out of your time. Don't just jump in the shower. Relax in a hot, scented tub. Remember, people matter. Much of our personal time is spent with people we're used to being around. Be painfully honest with yourself and ask, who is draining you of energy and time? Does your mother call every evening? Do you have a friend with whom you've gone shopping every weekend for years, but this person adds nothing to your life? Does your neighbor feel free to drop in at any time? For more fulfilling personal time, we may need to rid our lives of a few toxic people. Gradually remove these people from your life or limit the time you allocate to them. 
Making the most of your personal time can mean making difficult choices, but it may be necessary. Reevaluate your personal goals. Much of this video deals with how to manage your time and achieve your career goals. We know that to succeed in a career, we need to establish smaller goals and slowly but surely move up each rung of the career ladder. How often, however, have you thought in terms of moving up in your personal life? It's easy to take our personal routine for granted. You may run and exercise, read, prepare nutritious meals, etc. But why settle for good when your personal life can get even better? One, let's say you run several times a week. Establish an even greater personal goal by training for a marathon. Block out a certain amount of time each time to achieve that goal. Taking the time to elevate personal goals can be life enhancing. Two, if you're already preparing good meals for yourself and your family, go a step further and invest in a gourmet cooking class. The time spent will enhance your enjoyment of food tremendously. Make the time to treat your personal goals seriously. Three, if you read, make your reading material count. Spend your reading time on quality classics that challenge your mind. When we get lost in the desire for a successful career, it's easy to lose sight of becoming a better, more effective person. Take the time to expand your personal goals for more enjoyable personal life.